when we began this project, we took a look at the available space in the front of the vehicle and found that uh, quite a lot of engineering had been done at Toyota to ensure really nice, good airflow going into the stock intercooler. One challenge that we faced was how do we design something within that envelope of space that the stock intercooler is using without kind of undoing some of this engineering work that was already done. So for us, what we ultimately decided to do was create new ducting and replacement of a number of the pieces that the vehicle uses from stock. So by creating our own ducting, we were able to really maximize our use of the space and that afforded us the ability to make a core that is 52% bigger than the stock core. Another thing that we were able to do is we increased the inlet size from 39 millimeter ID to 41. We also changed the design of the inlets. Instead of maintaining the same diameter uniformly up until the inside of the tank where the air would then expand into the core, we started to transition that flow so where it's entering into the tank, we're actually at a little over 90% larger in flow area compared to the end of the inlet. Um, so what that's gonna do is, is allow a much smoother transition of airflow and add an approximate 10% increase in flow area as the air is coming into and out of the inner cooler. After a number of rounds of dyno testing, we were happy to see that all of our engineering efforts had paid off. So our dyno results for this were uh, peak gains of eight and a half horsepower and nine foot-pounds of torque. And then our max gains were 11 and a half horsepower and 15 foot-pounds of torque. So really nice gains out of the GR Corolla. So to sum it up, the Mishimoto GR Corolla intercooler kit maximizes the available space in the front of the vehicle has the power numbers and performance to back it up, and has the design aesthetic that really complements the car.